Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Thank you for joining me here at the Forest of Arden. And this video is my favorite drill that you can do with your iron clubs to help your performance from the fairway. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden. You've joined me here on the 16th, this fantastic hole straight over that lake in front of the green. So this week it is US Open week at Shinnecock Hill, second major of the year. I absolutely love the major weeks. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I love the hype, I love the build up, and obviously I love watching them. So because it's the US Open, this week's videos are my favorite drill. So hopefully you've already seen the first video, which is my favorite drill with the driver. This video is going to be my favorite drill that you can do with your iron clubs. And then on Friday, we're gonna be looking at some drills that you can do in the short game. So what I've really tried to do with these little exercises and these drills is try to do things which everybody out there can benefit from. So if I did a drill which is gonna help you stop your slice, obviously that doesn't apply to everybody watching. But what we're gonna do in this video is this is my favorite drill and it is such a simple drill but it can help every single golfer out there because it is going to be focusing on improving your strike. You definitely need to strike the ball well if you're going to have a good score. And I definitely need to strike the ball well on this hole because there's a huge lake in front of the green. So what I've done here is I've just placed a white line on the ground. Very, very simple. I use, um, you can use spray chalk. That's fantastic because it just comes straight off. You can also use foot spray, which I've used here, but anything that just gives you this visual white line on the ground. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your setup and I want that white line to represent your golf ball. So the position that you would set the golf ball in your stance. I've got a fairly short iron here, I've got a nine iron. So for me, that's going to be relatively central. And all you're going to do is you're gonna start here and you're going to make some practice swings and you're very simply gonna get your golf club to land target side of that white line. It is as simple as that. You're gonna get your golf club to make contact with the ground target side of that line. Now you'll notice at the end of the line, I've placed a golf ball because that's what I want to try and take through to the shot. So if you're the golfer who's really struggling with strike, you may well find that some of your shots, the club is landing before the line. It may well be that the shot following that is a little bit of a reaction to that and there's no contact with the ground at all. So what we're really starting to do here is control where the golf club strikes the ground. Dead simple. If you can control where the golf club strikes the ground, you can play this game because you can strike the ball. And if you can strike the ball, you can hit the ball the distance that you intend. You can get up near the greens. You can do all those things that we want on the golf course. Many of you watching this will have your bad shots as poor strikes. That's when we start to get those high scores, those doubles, those triples is when we miss strike the ball, we hit it 20 yards on the ground or we hit it into the water on this hole, for example. So this little exercise is fantastic to help you with your strike. So what do you need to do to get your club to land target side of the line? Well, very simply, you need to have a fairly decent impact position where you've got more weight on your lead side, you've got the handle forwards, and you're starting to transfer your energy and your pressure through to the target. You can see I landed that club target side of the line. So you can just take some swings and just start to, you know, understand what you need to do in your golf swing to achieve this task. It's a very external task. You're not thinking about your technique so much. You're just thinking about the task and then can you achieve that task. As I progress through this line, I'm going to start to see how consistent I am. Such a good drill that you can do in practice. So let me do a couple more and then I'm going to shuffle forward and make contact with the golf ball. So backswing, pressure shift. There's my club landing target side of that line. Right, so let's see if we can go ahead and do it with the golf ball. Now, as I say, there is water short of this green. It's not the, uh, it's not the easiest. I've got 150 yards, a little bit down breeze. Uh, but it's also a little bit cold this morning as well, so that might sort of counteract that breeze. So let's see if I can get that contact target side of the line and get it on the green. And it's just a little right of the flag, but it's into the middle of the green, I would take that. And the fantastic thing with this little drill is your feedback afterwards is important as well. So I can see exactly where I made contact with the ground. I can assess whether it was target side of the line or behind the line, on the line, wherever it may be. I can then associate that to my feels. So I would have hit that shot. I would have felt it was pretty good in terms of strike. I can look back and I can get that confirmation. And I start to really develop my feels 
um, in terms of strike and where that's coming off the club face. Many of you will be surprised that you will think you've hit a good shot and when you look down, you've actually made contact with the ground slightly before the ball. So the more you can move that strike to where that line is or target side of the line, you're gonna elevate your strike. You're gonna make it much more consistent. You're gonna get the ball from the right part of the club face. That's gonna help you with your direction, your distance, your flight, your spin, all of those kind of things that we see the top players doing so well. So a super simple drill that I think anybody can do and I think it can help every golfer because there aren't many golfers I see who strike the ball perfectly every time. If we can work on our strike, we often find other good things happen as well. The direction is better, the distance is better, the things that we've already spoken about in this video. So thank you for watching. It is US Open week. I've already asked you on Monday, but let me know in that comments box who you think is going to win. I don't quite think he's there yet, but I would absolutely love to see Tiger take another major this week. It'd be great to see him just in contention on Sunday, wearing that red shirt. Uh, my heart wants him to win, but I don't think his game's quite there yet. Let me know who you think is going to win. Uh, it'd be interesting to see whose people pick to be the champion this week. Right, thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. There's a like button. Over there, there is a button which will allow you to be a free subscriber. Would love to have you along for the journey. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here again soon.